Some other things that we can do to add even more interest to our scenes is add some 3D UI. That means making use of the world space and putting UI elements within it, which is something that can be achieved thanks to the facilities of AR. So to get started with 3D UI, we'll have to create a new canvas. UI canvas. And we'll create some buttons on this canvas. UI button. The UI I'm creating will change the material color of the hair so that you can try different materials. Let's make this into a square. And let's make this a little bit bigger. And we'll delete the text because this will communicate it without text. And instead with 3D objects. So we'll change this. Focus. Let's move this up a bit. Do take this. So we'll have to make this 3D canvas super small. We'll move this to the side. Now the next thing we'll do is we'll create some objects to hide the UI that we've already created. Create 3D object, cube. Now we'll make some materials to go match the colors that we have generated already. Now we'll have to create a script that we can add to the buttons that will allow each button to change to a specific, the material to a specific color. So let's create that script. Right click, create, C sharp script, change hair. Before we get into our script, we'll have to take note of the color values that we've chosen for each of the materials. So get out your notepad and drag it to the side and click on your color. Make sure your color mode is in RGB 0 to 1 and copy all of these colors, including the alpha. Now, with these numbers in hand, open up your script and I'll show you where to plug them in. In this script, we have two main variables, a hair color material variable and our game object, the 3D UI. And within the script, we have three main functions. We'll take the hair color material and assign it a new color when 
this function is being called. All we have to do is replace each value with our speci specified hair color that we would like and change the name of the function to whatever color corresponds with the materials we've named. Don't forget to include the F after each color. So it signifies that it is a floating point value. The last variable, the alpha, does not require the F. Once that's done, save and close and go back to your project. Before we add the functionality to our buttons, we'll have to create an empty with the script attached. So let's create empty and name this change hair. Now we have to create the objects that will be input into these variables. Let's first create a hair color material. So now I've made the black braids black to start off. We'll also have to create an empty parent and name this 3D UI. To group together our 3D UI. We'll add these 3D objects into the 3D UI. And in the change here, add the 3D UI. And we'll add the base hair material. The last thing we'll have to do is add this to add functionality to our buttons. Make sure you go back in and turn off the box colliders for each of the cubes. Now for our buttons, we'll add an on-click event and drag on our change hair. This is the brown hair button, so we'll change this to brown color and do the same for the rest. The final step is to add our 3D UI into our prefab. So let's create the parent. We'll add them together. Make this a prefab. and replace it in our object placement. The last step we have to do before we build and run, we have to make sure that the 3D UI is a child within the object manipulated parent. Because this object manipulated has all these other scripts that we're using to move and scale the object within our scene. We want that to apply with the 3D UI so it moves along with it. Once that's done, you can save and build and run and see how it works. Okay, now let's place our object and see whether the UI shows up. Awesome. You can scale and everything moves along with each other. Now let's tap the boxes to see if we can change the hair color. And it works perfectly. You can change it to brown, to white, and to blonde. I hope you liked this bonus tutorial on how to create 3D UI. Hopefully you'll be able to take this knowledge and take advantage of the real world space to create your own specialized UI experiences.